Hi, welcome to Free, Free Academy English. I'm Geraldine and today's lesson is about animals. Well, it's not about animals yet, but I hope it is versum. I'm very excited to tell you about animals, but we have to be patient. And today we're going to talk about taxonomy. And we're going to learn a lot of the vocabulary together because I've never studied this in English. So we're going to learn together. And today we're going to use, um, besides word reference, another web page that uh, Rachel, Rachel from Rachel's English suggested on her video this week. Uh, you should go and check it out. It reminds me a lot of the video I made about your best friend. It's one of my favorite videos, and you can also see it there. Word reference is going to tell us the definition of the word, the phonetic symbols, the pronunciation, and your English is going to tell us the pronunciation in context. I'm sure it's going to be very useful. So, there are many words that we are going to learn in this lesson. The first one is, of course, taxonomy. And before pronouncing them, I'm going to show you the list of the words so we can learn how to pronounce them together when we look up them uh, in a dictionary. Why are we studying this? Because it's very interesting. Wait, I shouldn't say very interesting. There are other words for saying very interesting. I got it. I got it. More than interesting. I, I thought about this just for a while. It's captivating. Yeah. Taxonomy is captivating. The whole topic is captivating. And I like it a lot. I hope you find a way of liking it too. And also, they use it a lot for tougher aisles. They talk about animals a lot. And knowing this is going to help you enter into that world. Not only animals. I'm just obsessed with animals, but with any living thing. It's super helpful. It's it's essential for any living organism. Let's make the example. What's this? It's an animal. Yeah, it's an animal. What kind of animal is it? This animal is a dog. What kind of animal is it? It's a mammal. I might know it as a dog, and you might speak another language and know it as a perro, for example. So we need just one name to describe it and that name will be given in Latin, and it always has similar characteristics. In this case, for example, it's Canis familiaris. Inside the mammals, it is also one particular kind of mammal, and it happens with every animal. For example, this one. What is it? Yeah, an animal. <laughs> what kind of animal is it? And what about this one? Yes, it's an animal. <laughs> At the end of the lesson, I'm going to show you some beautiful pictures about every kind of animal underneath. Okay, so here we are in word reference. I'm going to look for the word. And here we have the pronunciation with the International Phonetic Al Alphabet. This is tag, sonomy. And the definition says noun the science of naming things and classifying them in different groups. And here it also shows us that it's a term used in biology. Now, what I want to do is to listen to the word. We can hear it here. Taxonomy. But I want to listen to it in context. That's why we go to English. In English, you just put a word and you can even choose the accent. If you, have an if you want an American, British or Australian accent, and we hear the words. For example, here we have 483 entries of how to pronounce taxonomy in context. Let's listen to a couple of them. <laughs> and precision medicine just, just captured us more than taxonomy. But th where taxonomy applies is taxonomy knows. Well, look at their next. Tailed away. The family relations of guilt, the never questioned rituals, the intricate taxonomy of castes and sub subcastes. From all over the world, before they were able to define their taxonomy. Different accent. And so on. We could stay there all day. But let's move on to the next word. Domain. According to what the pronunciation we have here. Domain. We can listen to it. Domain. 
and it's also a noun. I think all the words we are looking for today are nouns. And here it tells us a field of area, thought, etc., subject, area of interest. But let's say this definition is pretty general. And here we don't have biology like in the previous word. But here we have government. You can see domain in law, mathematics, crystallography. But if we keep going down, the one we're looking for is here. It's us. Also called super kingdom the highest level of classification of living organisms. Three domains are recognized, archaea, see archaean, bacteria, see bacteria, and eukarya, see eukaryote. This is what we were looking for, but we're going to study this later. Today we're just learning the words, to be more familiar with the words, but let's listen to it in context. Here also, if I just put domain, it talks about domain in general. If I put it next to the word kingdom that is related, then we have some, some better um, context, context used in, in biology. God, that in the midst of that, he has transferred us from the domain of darkness into the kingdom of his <laughs> so beloved this is son. So this about the, the domain of darkness and the kingdom the king. that is strikingly similar to biology. Organisms that make up the kingdom protista under the domain eukarya. Bacteria domain. and archaea organisms, they make up their own kingdom in the eukaryotic domain of the tree of life, separate from animals and plants. Domain. And it's with kingdom, because I look for both of them together. Now we're going to look at the word kingdom. Here we have the pronunciation, kingdom. Then we have a noun, a state or government, having a king or queen as its head. But again, we see here that we're talking about the government. But if we go down, we will find the biology. It tells us a taxonomic category of the highest rank. This is not really accurate because we saw that the highest rank is actually domain. But uh, before domain existed, it was the highest rank kingdom. Grouping together all forms of life having certain fundamental characteristics in common. In the five kingdom classification scheme adopted by many biologists, separate kingdoms are assigned to animals, plants, fungi, protozoa and eukaryotic algae, and bacteria and blue-green algae, and different the, the different kingdoms, right? And these are the names that we're going to learn later. Let's, uh, we already heard it, but let's hear it some more. Kingdom. Complexity than there was in the archaeal kingdom, or the do archaeal domain. And you kingdom and domain again, biology. So we're at domain eukarya, kingdom animalia, and we're part animalia. of the vertebrates. Since they're all together, then we're, we better listen to them all together, the next words. Let's go with the next. The next is this one, phylum. This word is not so common and they don't even have the pronunciation here. We cannot hear it, but we can uh, see how we should pronounce it thanks to the phonetic symbols, phylum. And interesting word, it tells us that the, no the noun phylum has a plural form of phylum. And the definition, now we are talking about biology. Um, the primary subdivision of a taxonomic kingdom grouping together all classes of organisms that have the same body plan. Okay, but don't worry, we're gonna study that like later. The next word is class. That can be pronounced as class or class. Interesting, let's listen to it classification system, kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, species. We would say phylum class, kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, and species. We also still use Linnaeus's the, the deciding where divide along kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, tribe. These are somewhat arbitrary. These are cortex is a principal characteristic of which class of the phylum chordata? Uh, I'll say this is, for example, more British, so it would be class and the American more class. Let's move on to the next word, which is order. We can listen to it here. Order. But let's go straight to looking for biology. Order as a noun, right? A command, no. Um, biology, yeah, here it is. A major subdivision of a class or subclass in a classification of living things made up of one or more families, which is the next word. How do you know? And we have two 
pronunciations, family or family. Kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, and species. We also family? still use Linnaeus's con- the, the, Deciding where to divide along kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, tribe. These are- Family. DNA analysis of praised a creature in the order, family. Of Love of order and his family and, and stuff like that. Family. Was so psychotic that her family took out a restraining order on her. She became homeless and family and order and whatever family. things that motivate you. Those are the kind Okay. Although they are talking about family, like in general, right? But we have heard both. Let's go for biology. Yay. The usual major subdivision of an order or suborder in the classifications of plants, animals, fungi, etc. Usually consistent of several genera. Which is the next word. It's actually genus, but as you can see here, the singular is genus and the plural will be genera or genesis. Biology. The major subdivision of a biologi biological family or subfamily in the scientific system of classifying living things. Let's look for both genus and genera. So even if we don't know the genus and species, we can generally genus. recognize what they are. But if you get next... Parsons no. chameleon over 60 centimeters long to the tiny members of the Bukesia genus, the smallest genus, and most astonishing chameleons in the world. Different accent. And yet civil war is also the genus of genus. which... ...also have parasitic swellings of tapeworms um, from the genus Tinea. Genus. Oh, let's look for the other word. ...energy crops. And from our perspective at Genera, I'm not sure that we could have had a better response. Well, what, they Genera, are, what they really it's need different. is a market, obviously, a, for the It's a brand. Of... We've had many different species and genera of koala. Genera. Um, and they've been very... ...groupings above the species level, for example, genera, um, and sometimes higher up in the hierarchy of different kinds, are almost... Genera. Generosity invites us. ...families and 83% of all genera became extinct. It was the most Let's significant with, extinction event on um, the planet ever. Injury when a whole bunch of volcanoes. Oh, look, only six. So the Earth's much more common. Found something like 150,000 different species of uh, genuses of eukaryotes. Genuses. And, uh, and we well, that's a weird accent. Okay, we got it. And the last word we're going to see is a pre-word. I really like this word. It's the word species, here it says, but actually there are two pronunciations. Ah, oh, here you have them. Species or species. Let's listen. And the giant that lay in this grave, the new species of dinosaur. Species. You know, mankind is a symbolic species, which means that species. physical pleasures, you know, true. About our species. Species. Oh, yeah. Many, uh, or oh, dozens of native bird species have returned and pollinated. Species, okay. How we as a species exist on this planet. Species. We are an urban species at home. Okay. In our I'll say species. And uh, there's another thing here that it's the same as singular, a species, and as plural. Well, let's read this because where else do you talk about species? A distinct group, sort, or kind of individuals having some common characteristics as of animals or plants that can breed among themselves, but not outside the group. Yeah, that's like a, a good definition. And if you look for biology, it's a little more academic, right? The major subdivision of a genus or subgenus, regarded as the basic category of biological classification, composed of related individuals that resemble one another, are able to breed among themselves, but are not able to breed with members of another species. All right, okay. So those were all our words, and let's go with an example. Humans! We are humans, but we are also part of the domain Eukarya, the kingdom Animalia, the phylum Chordata, the class Mammalia, the order Primate, family Hominidae, genus Homo, and species Sapiens. We are Homo sapiens. Right? So we usually refer to just the genus species when we talk about the scientific name of any living organism. Thank you for watching and next part, next video. Subscribe and see you soon.